All right, multipath fading. Multipath is a simple term used to describe the multiple path of the radio wave and may fall between the transmitter and receiver. So, um, propagation paths and include ground wave, ionosphere, refraction, re radiation, um, and ionosphere la layers, reflection of the Earth surface from more than one isophonic layer. Such a figure 221 shows the few paths of the, the signal can travel the, um, between two sites and a typical circuit on one path, the XYZ, the basic ground wave of another with the XEA, refracts the wave of the E with the layer of the passes the, to the receiver the A, so still another point of the XFZ, if the FA resolve with a greater angle incidence, um, two fraction, refraction from the F layer with the point Z with the um, C signal with the combination with the ground wave and sky wave, the two signals have to travel to different paths, arrive at the point Z at a different time, thus the arriving waves may never may not. Be in phase with each other radio waves that are received with the rays of the river reinforce each each other produce strong signal that at receiving the site with the conversely of those of the received out of the phase producing a weak a weak and fading signal. Small alterations in the transmission path may be changed to the phase relation for the two signal causing periodic fading. This condition occurs with the point A that at this point of the double hop of the F layer signal may be in and out of phase while the signal arriving over the e, from the E layer. Or figure two twenty one shows multiple tra transistors uh F, um, F layer and E layer, X, Y, and, and Z, and A. Multiple fading may be minimized practice with the space diversity, frequency diversity, space diversity, two more. Receiving the antennas um, or space that is some distance apart fading does not occur simultaneously both antennas. Therefore, each output is almost available, always available from one antenna to provide useful signal. In frequency diversity, two transmitter, two receiver, the receiver, each of the pair with a different frequency with the same of the information being transmitted simultaneously over the both frequencies. One of the two receivers will always provide a useful signal. Or right, selective fading, fading, um, fading result of the multiple path propagation from variable to frequency since each of the frequencies arrive at the recent receiving point of the, of the different radio path wide band with the frequency of the transmitted simultaneously. Each frequency will vary with the amount of fading. Variation is called um, selective fading. The selective fading occurs with the frequency of the transmitted signal do not retain their original fade relatively the amplitude of the fading cover the several distortion over the signal limits for the total signal transmitted. All right, transmission loss is already a wave to propagate with the isonic fear of the um, path to under a undergo energy loss before arriving at the receiving site with the discussed early absorption of the ionosphere with the lower atmosphere levels account. For a large part of these energy levels, the two or the other types of the loss with the significant effect of the ionic fear is the propagation of the radio wave. The loss is known with the ground reflecting loss of the free space the loss of the combined of the absorption ground reflection loss. Free space loss account for the most of the energy loss of the radio transmission propagated by the ionosphere. Ground reflection loss. The propagation accomplished with the view of the multiple half refraction of the radio frequency energy is lost each time of the radio wave is reflected from the ear surface. The amount of the energy lost depends on the frequency of the wave, the angle and incident of the ground irregularity, the electrical conductivity of the point of reflection. All right, your free space loss. Normally, the major loss of the energy because of the spreading out of the wave front, the travel away from the transmitted distance or the area where the wave front spreads out more like a beam of the flashlight. This means the amount of the energy contained within any of the unit of the air of the wave front. Will decrease the distance increased by the time of the energy arrives at the receiving antenna of the wavefront. It's so spread out that the receiving antenna um, tends to and extends into only a very small fraction of the wavefront. This is illustrated figure 222. 221 shows the 100, 1000 watts initial input transistor and ionosphere um, receiver. Electromagnetic interference, EMI. The transmission law for the discuss does not only fact that the interfere with the communication, additional fact that they can interfere with the radio communication present with electromagnetic interference. Interference can result in the annoying and impossible operation conditions such as the um, electromagnetic interference are both man made and natural. Man made interferences. Man made interference may come from several sources. Some of the sources of the touch with oscillator communication transmitted radio transmitters may be specifically designed to generate radio frequency energy. Some of the electrical devices are generate radio frequency energy. Although they are not specifically done for that purpose, for example, the ignition system generators, motor switches, relays, voltage regulators, and tens of the man-made interference may vary throughout the day with a drop-off at a low level at night. When many of these sources are not being used, the man-made interference may critical um, limit factor of radio receiving sites are loca located near the industrial areas. All right, natural interference. Natural interference refers to the static, um, static that often you hear with the listening of the radio. This interference is generated with the front natural phenomena such as thunderstorms, snow streams, comets, so forth, and the sum of the energy relief of the source of the transmitted receiving the side of the roughly the same manner of the radio waves. As a result, the ionospheric um, conditions are favorable with the long distance propagation radio waves. They are li like waves favorable with the propagation natural interference. Natural interference is very erratic, particularly with a high frequency band. Both generally will decrease the operating with the frequency increase with the wider bandwidth as you and little natural interference is above 30 megahertz. 
All right, counter electromagnetic interference. Electromagnetic interference um, can be reduced, eliminated by various suppression techniques. The amount of the electric mayor, electronic, electromagnetic interference produced by the radio transmitter can be controlled by cutting transmitting antenna to correct frequency, limiting bandwidth using electronic filter networks and metallic shielding. Related um, radiated electromagnetic interference during transmission can be controlled by the physical separation of the transmitting and receiving antennas. Use the directional air antennas in limiting antenna um, bandwidth. Variation of the ion, ion sphere. The growth existing of the ion sphere is directly related to the radiation emitted from the sun with the movement of the earth above the, about, about the sun. Change of the sun's activity the result of the variation of the ion sphere with the variation of the two general types. Those which are more or less regular cover the circle, therefore, can be predicted to advance with reasonable accuracy. Those which are irregular with the result of the abnormal behavior of the sun, therefore, they cannot be predicted in advance. Both of the regular and irregular varieties. variations have an important effect with the radio wave propagation. Regular variation. Regular variation affect the extent of the ionization. Ionization. Ions, ions, ionization in the ion sphere can be divided in four main classes: daily, seasonal, eleven-year, and twenty-seven-day variations. Daily. Daily variation of the ion sphere can result in the twenty-four hour rotation of the Earth about the axis. Daily variation is different in layer. The summarized as follows: the D layer reflects the um, VLF waves. Important for the long-range VLF communications. Report, re relates the LF and MF wave to the short-range communication. Absorbs the high-frequency wave. With little effect with the VHF. Um, above and it disappears at night. The E-layer ionized depends on the angle of the sun. The E-layer reflects the high-frequency wave during the day with the 20 megahertz the distance of the 1,200 miles. The ionization greatly reduced at night. Structure density of the F region depends on time of the day with the angle of the sun. The region consists of one layer during the night and the splits and two layers during the daylight hours. Ionization depends on the F1 layer to depend on the angle of the sun. The main effect with the absorbed the, um, um, high frequency waves passing through the F2 layer. The F2 layer is most important long distance high frequency communication variable. Variable light and high density change with the time of the day and season season sun's mild activity. All right, your seasonal. The seasonal variation resolve of the Earth revolving around the sun relative to the position of the sun with the move of the hemisphere or other chamber of the sea. The seasonal variation of the DE and F1 layers can correspond with the highest angle of the sun. The ionization density of the layer greatest during the sum of the F2 layer. However, it does not follow with the pattern of the ionization greater with the winter or the least in the sum of the reverse of that might be expected. The result with the other frequency, the F2 layer propagation is higher than winter than in the summer. 11-year sunspot cycle. One most of the natural phenomena of the surface of the sun with the disappearance of the distant, disappearance of the dark, with the, of the, and the disappearance of the dark. Irregular shape of the sun with the sunspot. The exact nature of the sunspot is not known, but scientists believe that they are caused by violent eruptions on the sun. And the characterized unusual strong magnetic field sunspots are responsible for variation in ionization level of the ion sphere. Sunspots can, of course, occur unexpectedly. But the lifespan of the individual sunspots is variable. However, the regular cycle of the sunspot activity has also been observed. Cycle has both a minimum and maximum level of sunspot activity that occur approximately every 11 years. During periods of the maximum sunspot activity, the ionization density of the all layers increase because of this. The D layer increases the critical frequency of the E and F1, F2 layers are higher. At these times, higher operation frequencies must be for long distance communication. 27 a day. Sunspot cycle. The number of the sunspots existing at one time continually subject to the change of the sun of the disappear and no more and a new one emerges. The sun rotates at one on its axis for the sunspots visible at the 27th day interval, the approximate period um, for the sun to make one complete rotation. 27th the sunspot day cycle the cause it says varies for the intensity density of the layer of the day to day based on the function of the F2, the greater than any other layer. For this reason, precise prediction of the day to day based for the critical frequency of the F2 layer are not possible. And calculating the frequency of the long distance communications allow the fluctuation of the F2 must be made. Irregular variations. Irregular variations of the isonic condition, uh, isonic sphere conditions also important effect of the radio wave propagation because of the variations are regular, really unpredictable. They are drastically affect with the communication capability without any of the warning. The most common irregular variations are spotic um, E and sudden isonic sphere disturbance and isopheric storms. Sporadic E is an irregular cloud-like patch is unusually high in ionization called the sporadic E, often in the heights of the near of the normal E layer. Exactly how this phenomenon is known, the nor it can... Uh, um, nor is it occurrence be predicted as known with the very significant latitude, northern latitudes, and appear for the closely related to Oriole, Borealis, or the Northern Lights. At times, sporadic eaves of some of the radio waves penetrate and easily rotated, return to Earth by the upper layers of other uh, times that extend up to several hundred miles of the heavy ionized um, is heavily ionized. The characters may be harmful to help with radio wave propagation. For example, the sporadic eave may blank out with the use of higher, more favorable ionic features, causing additional absorption of the radio wave some frequency. Also, it can cause an additional multiple path problems and delay the arrival time to the range of the radio frequency energy. On the other hand, critical frequency is sporadic even the very high and greater than double the critical frequency of the nominal isopheric layer of the condition may permit the long 
This is in transmis transmission signal the unusual high frequency also permit um, short distance communication locations that would normally be skip zone. The sporadic E can be a form can form and disappear with a short time during either day or night. However, it only usually does not occur at the same time all transmitting radio sa receiving stations. Sudden isopheric disturbance. The most startling isopheric irregularities known for the sudden isopheric disturbance may occur with the warning, which may prevail with any length of the time of a few minutes of several hours. When the side occur with the long distance propagation, the high frequency radio waves are almost totally blanked out. Immediately affected by radio operator lifting, normal frequencies are inclined to believe the receiver to have gone dead. Where this um, a sudden isopheric disturbance has occurred, the examination of the sun relieved of the bright solar and solar eruption. A cell stations lying holding and in part with the sunward side of the earth are affected with the solar eruption produced the unusual intense burst of the ultraviolet height, um, which is not absorbed within the F2, F1, A layers, but instead covered the subnormal, um, sudden and abnormal increase of the ionization density of the D layer. As a result, the frequency above 1 or 2 megahertz are unable to penetrate the D layer or use will completely absorbed by the layer. Isophonic storms. Isophonic storms are disturbed in the Earth's magnetic field. They are associated man with the not fully understanding of both solar eruptions in 27-day intervals with that correspond with the rotation of the sun. Scientists believe that the isophonic storm is the result of the particular radiation from the sun particles radiated with the solar eruption have solar velocity, the ultraviolet light waves that produce the eruption in the world. The would account for the 18 hour there is some difference between the um, um, su um, sudden isopheric disturbance with the isophonic storm. The isophonic storms are always associated with the sunspot activity band begin with any time two days before any of the active sunspot crosses the central meridian of the sun until the four days it will pass the central meridian in times uh, however the active sunspot is across the central region of the sun without any of the isophonic storm occurring. Firstly, the isophonic storm has occurred that when there is no visible spot on the sun with no proceeding of the site. Um, Sudden isopheric disturbances. All you can see is the sum of the correlation between the isophonic storm and the, and the sun. Um, the sudden isopheric disturbance in the sun's by activity. Possibly there are no hard, fast rules. Isophonic storms can occur suddenly without warning. The most of the prominent effect of the isophonic storm is the turbulent, turbulent iso, iso, iso ionosphere, very erratic sky wave propagation. <laughs> Critical frequencies are lower than normal, particularly with the F2 layer. Isophonic stirs the storms are affected with a higher F2 layer first, with redu reducing its ion, ion density. Lower layers are not impractical, um, appreciably affected with the storm, and then less of the distributed and, and gray of the practical effect of the ion isonic storms is in the range of the frequency that can be used for the communication with the given circuit, but much smaller than normal, and communications are possible lower working frequencies. All right, frequency selection considerations. Upon this one, we have covered the various four um, factors for the control of the propagation of the radio wave through the isophonosphere, um, uh, of the ionosphere, incidental angel, angle of the radio wave, the operating frequency, etc. There are very good reasons to study the wave of the um, radio wave propagation. The most set, you must have a thorough knowledge of the radio wave propagation to exercise the good judgment you're selecting, and transmitting, and receiving the antennas, operating frequency, select with the suitable operating frequency with the bounds of the frequency. Frequency allocation availability, the primary importance of maintaining reliable communications. Successful communication between two specified locations at any given time of the day and maximum frequency, lowest in frequency, and optimum frequency can be used the maximum usable frequency. As we discussed earlier, the higher frequency of the radio wave, the lower rate of the refraction by the ionized layer. Therefore, the given angle of the incident with the time of the day, their maximum frequency can be used the communication between two given locations. Frequency is known as maximal usable frequency, or MUF. Waves of frequency above the maximal usable frequency normally refracted so slowly they return to the Earth beyond the desired location path of the ion sphere of our loss. should understand, however, the established micro maximum usable frequency um, certainly does not guarantee successful communication between transmitting site and receiving the site. Variation of the ion sphere may occur at any time of the current rate of the lower predetermined maximal usable frequency. Particularly true with the radio waves being the refract refractive, uh, highly variable the F2 layer, the multiple usable frequency highest around the noon, the ultraviolet lights, but wave them from the sun of the most intense, then drops roughly, rather sharply, recombination begins to, um, begins to take place. Lowest usable frequency. There are maximum operating frequency that can be used with the communication between two points. There is a minimum operating frequency. This is known as the lowest usable frequency. The frequency of the radio wave lowered with the rate of the refraction increases so over the wave, though the frequency must be established to low usable frequency, rejected back to Earth in short distance desired and shown in Figure 223. Figure 223 shows the refraction frequency between low usable frequency, ionosphere frequency, low usable frequency, transmitter, receiver. Transmission paths result with the rate of the refraction and not only of the effects of the low usable frequency. Frequency lowered and absorption of the radio wave increase the wa who, wa wave whose frequency is too low or is low is absorbed so the extent of the too weak of the reception. Likewise, the atmospheric noise is greater. Lower frequency, low frequency radio will have the unacceptable single noise rotate radio ratio. 
For given an incident over the, aside, over the ionospheric condition, the low usable frequency for the successful communication between two locations depends on refraction property of the ionosphere, the absorption consideration amount of atmospheric noise pres present. All right, optimum work frequency. The um, nor for the maximal usable frequency nor the low usable frequency practical operating frequency radio wave of the low usable usable frequency can be refracted back to Earth's desired location. Single to noise ratio still the much lower than a higher frequency. Probability multiple paths propagation is much greater. Operating or or near multiple usable um, maximum usable frequency can result in the frequent signal fading drop out for the isospheric variation of the length of the transmission path. Most practical operation frequency is one that can rely on the least amount of the problems and still should have enough to avoid the problems of multiple path absorption and noise and counter below frequency and must not, not be so high to resolve the adverse effect of the rapid chain of the ionosphere. Frequency immediately above the criteria establishes known the optimum working frequency abbreviated for the FTO, um, abbreviated FT, FOT. The further initial letters of the French word for optimum working frequency, fraction frequency optimum de travel. Um, the, um, the, um, and the frequency, uh, were optimum frequency, working frequency roughly, um, about 85% of the, um, multiple use, maximum usable frequency actual percentage varies, maybe either considerable more than less, 85%. All right, weather versus propagation. Weather is an additional factor for the effect of the propagation of the radio waves. In this fact, we should explain with what extent the various weather phenomena with the effect of the propagation. Wind, air, temperature, water content, and atmosphere can combine in many certain... Many ways, certain the combination, but they can cause the radio signal to be heard with the hundreds of miles beyond the ordinary radi range of the radio communication. Virtually different combinations for the factors can cover the actuation of the single signal that may be heard, not heard over, even over the net, normally satisfactory path. But unfortunately, there are not, no hard and fast rules of effect of the weather of the radio transmission since weather is extremely complex and subject to frequent change. We will therefore limit our discussion of the effect of the weather and radio wave to general t um, terms. Or precipitation, actuation, calculation of the effect of the weather on the radio wave propagation. Compared to simple, where there is no water, water vapor in the atmosphere. However, there's some of the water vapor, liquid and solid, is always present. The must be considered all calculations before we discover the specific effect of the invisible preparation of the rain, snow, and fog have on radios. You should understand that the actuation between the precipitation is generally proportionate to the frequency wavelength of the radio wave. Radio wave. For example, the rain has pronounced effect of the wave of the microwave frequency. However, the rain has hardly affected the wave with long wave um level high frequency range below. You can assume that, that the wavelength becomes shorter than increase of the frequency precipitation has increased in the important end to actuation effect of the radio waves. Conversely, you can assume that the wavelength between becomes long with longer with a decrease of fre in frequency participation has little um attention effect. Rain attention becomes the raindrop the greater the attuation the two of the other forms of situation at and precipitation attuation may be caused by the absorption of the raindrop the um acting with this poor old poor old di poor dielectrical observe the pore with the radio wave dissipate the power heat loss of the sky of scattering raindrops greater um the attuation by scattering than absorption of the frequency above 100 megahertz at the frequency of the 6 gigahertz the attuation can by the raindrop can scatter even greater Figure 224 shows the radio frequency energy loss from scattering weather front raindrop. Okay, um, fog. And decision, uh, in the discussion, actuation fog may be considered as another the form of the rain since fog remains suspended in the atmosphere. Actuation is determined the quantity of the vapor per the unit of volume by side of the droplet. It's actuation becomes the fog of the mirror, import, minor importance of the frequency lower than 2 gigahertz. However, the fog can seriously actuation absorption frequency above the 2 gigahertz. Or right, snow scattering effect of the below the snow the difficulty to compute because of the regular size shape of the flake of the weather information attuation effect of the snow limited to the scientists assume the attuation of the snow is low less than rainfall of the actual rate um the assumption that is borne out by the fact that the density of the rate and rain is eight times the density of the snow as result as a result the rail fa rain falling at one inch per hour would have no more wa would have more water per cubic inch of the snow falling at the same rate fail. As the actuation of the hail is determined by the size of the stone, the density of the actuation of the radio wave with scattering because of the hailstone is considerably less than by rain. Our temperature inversion. Under normal atmospheric contention, water and warmest air with the found near the surface of the earth, the air is gradually becomes cooler in altitude and the time. However, the unusual situation develops in which the layer of the warm air is air formed above, um, above the layers of the cool air. The conditions know the temperature inversion. The temperature inversion causes the channel of the dust and cool air to be um, sandwiched between the surface of the air and the layer of the warm air between the two layers of the warm air and transmitting extended um, antenna extend the thrust of the duct of the cool air if the radio wave enters the duct at a very low angle incident of the very... um. Um, VH, VFH, and U, um, UFH transmission may be propagated with a very far beyond the light of sun, light on line of sight and uh, line of sight of the distance. The extra present resulting temperature inverse with a good reception of the VH, VHF and UFHF television channels have the signals located hundreds of miles um, away, not usual these longer. 
distance pick up with the different density of the retractive quality of the warm and cool air. The sudden change of the density of the radio wave enter for the warm air with above the ducts can cover the wave to be refracted back to earth. And when the wave strikes the earth and warm layer below the duct, they again retract, reflected and refracted upwards and perceive the duct with a multiple hop type action. The example of the propagation radio wave the ducting is shown in figure 225. 225 shows the duct effect for the cover by the temperature inversion, warm air, cold air, normal air, actuation range. Surface so duct, no duct action. All right, trophospheric propagation, the lowest region of the Earth, the atmosphere, the tropospheric extent of the Earth's surface, the two that have flow slightly over the seventy miles. Virtually all weather phenomena occur in this region. Generally, over the troposphere with the catastrophic characterized steadily with the decrease of the both temperature and pressure height. It is increased, however, the main chain of the weather phenomena that cover the variation in humidity, uneven heating of the Earth's surface. As a result of the troposphere with the constant motion of the motion causes small turbulence, eddy that would be formed and shown with the bone, bone, bone bouncing of the aircraft and terminal at turbo. Air of the atmosphere of turbulence that are most of the intent for the, um, near the Earth's surface are going to gradually diminish when the, and within, with height. The refractive quality of the permanent refracting scattering of the radio waves with a short wavelength scattering provides enhanced communication at higher frequencies. Or recall the relationship between the frequency and wavelength. Wavelength decrease of the frequency and increase the vice versa. The radio wave of the frequency below the 30 megahertz normally have the wavelengths longer than the side of the wave. There is a turbul turbulency of the radio wave, therefore, affected very little turbulence. On the other hand, frequency increase of the VHF range and above the wavelengths described and decrease of the side of the point will become the tropospheric scattering. The unusable, the usable frequency range of the tropospheric scattering is about 100 megahertz to 10 gigahertz. Tropospheric scattering. When radio wave passing with the tropospheric meet the turbulence and meet the absorption channel, the um, absorb, absorb, uh, abrupt change in the velocity of the cover, the small amount of the energy to be scattered by the forward direction to return to the Earth's distance beyond horizontal the horizon. The phenomenon is repeated, repeated with the, as the radio wave meets the other turbulence in its path. Total received the signal of the uh, accumulation of the energy received at each of, the, of, the, of these turbulences. Scattering over the propagation enable the VHF, VHF and the UHF signals to be transmitted far beyond the normal line of sight. The better understand those how the signal transmitted over the greater distance between must fitters consider the propagation character of the space wave of the VHF in UHF, the line of sight of the communication space wave that transmitted that undergoes very little actuation between the line of sight of the horizon, which reaches the high room of the light wave that is refracted below the fall of the Earth. Curvature beyond the horizon, horizon the rate of the attention to increase rapidly, but the signal soon becomes very weak and unusable. Tropospheric scattering, on the other hand, provides an unusable signal of the distance beyond the point where the differentiated, uh, differentiated space wave drop at the usable level of the, of the high of the scattering takes place with the turbulence called the scattering can be visualized at the relay station localized, local, located above the horizon. It, uh, it receives the transmitted energy of the rate, re radiates it in four directions, some of the point beyond the line of sight of the distance. Hind game receiving the antenna aim toward the scattering energy. Energy calls can can then capture it. Or the magnitude of received signal depends on the number of the turbulence covering the scatter in the desired direction of the game that is received the antenna of the scatter area with the tropospheric scatter is known as the scatter volume and the angle of the receiving the antenna must be aimed to capture the scatter energy with the scatter angle. The scatter volume and the scatter angle are shown in Figure 226. 226 of the tropospheric scattering and propagation transmission site tropospheric scat tropospheric scatter volume scatter ang scattering angle. So you can take off at the transmitting angle of the, of the radiation some of the higher of the uh, scatter volume of the side of the scatter angle of the lower side. So you can take off the angle to produce the lower scatter volume of the terms point um, permanent of the receiver the antenna aim the low angle of the scatter volume without capture with the scatter energy. So you can take off the angle to increase the height of the scatter volume to increase with the curve of the amount of the received energy to create the two reasons of the scatter angle and the increase of the height of the scatter volume to create the two amounts of turbulence to create the height. Distance between the transmitting and receiving antenna is increased with the height of the scatter volume and must also be increased with the receiving the signal level. Therefore, to create the circuit of the distance and to increase the tropospheric region, contribute the most strongly with the tropospheric scattered propagation lines near the midpoint between the transmitting and receiving antenna just above the radio horizon of the right antenna. So the tropospheric um, scatter depends on the turbulence atmosphere change, but the atmospheric conditions have the effect of the strongly strength of the received signal on both, um, both daily and seasonal variation. Signal changes occur as a result of the change in the atmosphere variation of the long, are called long-term fading. In addition to the long-term fading, the tropospheric um, scatter signal is often characterized by a very rapid fading um, because of the multiple path, proper, uh, multiple path propagation. And since the turbulent conditions constantly change the path of the length of the individual signal levels, are also changing, resulting in rapidly changing signal. Uh, the signal level to receive the signal will constantly change the average signal level as uh, stable. Therefore, no complete fade out of the curve. Another character for the tropospheric scattering signal is relatively low power level to the very level of scattered energy we radiate toward the receiver. The efficiency very low and the signal level of the final receiver that is um, low with the input power. Uh, the initial input power may be high compensated for the low efficiency scatter value and the accomplished for using high power transmitter High gain antennas concentrating transmitted power into it being thus increasing the intensity of the energy of the internal of the volume. The receiver must also be very sensitive to the fact 
low-level signals. Application thermatic, uh, ther- thermosomatic scattering, thermospheric scat- scattering propagation is used the point-to-point communication cur- um, correctly design- um, designed to the traffic scattering will provide a highly reliable surface distance range of 50 miles to 500 miles. Tropospheric scattering um, systems may be particularly useful in communication and location regular regular terrain with the difficulty to reach for the other method of the propagation. One reason is that tropospheric scattering circuit is not effective for the ionosphere or, or, or oil disturbance. Chapter 2, um, Summary.